Hey, Eagle Run 2 3 here. Um, didn't intend on filming a video, but I used my chisels um, this this evening working on a little project, and I uh, and I realized I needed to uh, tune them up when I was done. So this is a um, oh, so these are just some very cheap chisels. I'm sure they're from Harbor Freight or Walmart or something. Um, I don't use them very much, and um, I really enjoyed working with them this evening though, and if I keep working with them, I'm going to have to get some better ones. Um, but anyway, we can make these sharp. Uh, I'm not going to use the uh, the Tech Studios profile. I'm just going to use this old stone that you guys have seen me use before. Uh, this here is a one inch stone, and I'm going to start off on the back. Uh, you can see that the edges right there are what has touched so far, so I'm just going to do... Um, a little bit of this so that you can see sometimes it's hard on camera to show up but I've got some sharpie on there so I want to start on the back and I'm not gonna go to the course I'm gonna only use the fine on the back there's no damage to the back I just want to make sure it's flat so this is where I always start with this process is right here on the back Now this is a very imperfect system. It's it's difficult to use because I'm I used to having such a nice setup with my Tech Studios. Um, I really need like a little stop right here, but I'm not messing with any clamps right now. Uh, but plus my clamps are all tied up on my project. I got glued. Okay, so just working here on the back. We're gonna work this in on the smooth side. So it looks like just those edges are low and then maybe a little bit on each side so that's pretty good good okay so I'm pretty happy with that there's no damage to the tip here so we're gonna just um, this is that wet stone and so it soaks up the water I should have it set in a little bowl but uh, we're just going for a quick hitter here um, again there's no damage this is the one inch there's no damage but I'm gonna Put some Sharpie on there just so we can see. Uh, they make a little tool for you to, uh, a little ball so you can be perfect, but if you get the hang of it and you can keep your arm in the right spot and you do it a couple times, um, it's not very hard to do, a, to do a consistent job. So fill the angle, and then right now I'm gonna try to keep my arm in that same position as I push. And if there's a little bit of roll, it's not the end of the world. Um, a little bit of roll is, is not gonna harm you at all. You mainly want to be on the tip anyway. You don't really need to spend your time polishing that whole edge. Okay, so what's interesting here is that uh, the middle must be low. I don't know if that's showing up very well. I don't have all my lights set up, guys. I'm sorry. I just I wasn't planning on filming a video, but the, the middle is what's low, and so that's really fine because across the whole tip right there is, is is smooth and we've removed the sharpie across the whole tip I can tell that's really sharp so we're gonna do about 15 or 20 more strokes just finding that bevel angle and then staying right on it through the stroke so I recommend you know if you're not good with a whetstone try it on a chisel first because you really can't mess very much up. There's there's pretty much nothing you can do wrong here. So, um, all right, so that's good all across the edge. Uh, it's obviously this could have been a hollow ground chisel. Maybe they used a wheel, which would cause that to be concave in there. But that's all low, which is fine. I'm smooth all the way across. I've got no damage on the tip, and I'm flat on the back. So this one's good. Uh, this was the one that I did just before I turned the camera on. And I might do a few more on it. I might finish with this right here. Alright, that's really nice. Okay, and the last one here is this three quarter. Now, this is the one I worked on this one yesterday quite a bit. It actually had a little bit of damage on it. Um, I think three quarters is the one that most guys would grab first, and so it it had been chunked a little bit. Now I don't use these for 
I, I, they're not, again, I said they're not nice. I don't use these for junk. I don't open paint cans and things with them. Um, but I've only used them in a woodworking project about two or three times. Uh, the project I did last night was the most, in, most intensive that I've used them. That's the most use they've gotten. And they were sharp and in good shape. And, and I did work on the back of this one just a little bit. Um, but it's looking good. We're going to just do a little bit here. And then we'll be ready to put these away. So for me, what my, what my system would be is that each time I use a chisel, um, or maybe every other time if I use it for a, full, for a full job, just do what I'm doing right here and touch up the tip and put them away sharp. That way they're always ready to go. Try to use the whole stone. You don't want to wear anything out. You want to keep your stone flat, as flat as possible. Same story here. This is kind of hollow in the middle. Um, they probably used a, a wheel to put that bevel on. Yeah, very sharp. Very nice. Alright, real quick, that's how you touch up your chisels. Now, if you had a chisel with a lot of damage, I showed you that one the other day. I don't see it here. So this chisel um, has a lot of damage to the tip. Um, this is maybe a nicer chisel, but I've just torn it up. I think um, I didn't appreciate what a chisel was. A much heavier, much more construction to this, uh, much more beef and heft in here. Uh, this thing needs a ton of work. It looks like I've done all sorts of terrible things to this. So this will actually have to hit the bench grinder, and I'll have to remove all the metal. I don't know if you can see. I'll have to remove, that's got a sixteenth of an inch missing out of it. Maybe you can see it against that stone there. Yeah, it's missing a good chunk out of that corner. So this will need a lot of work before I even use the stones. Um, put that on the grinding wheel and get that, get that damage taken care of. Okay, quick video here. Thanks for watching. This is Eagle Run 2-3. We'll see you on the next video.